Snow and ice storms have been budget busters for some communities this winter. Money spent on salt, fuel, and overtime to clear roadways means they may not be able to do as much paving as they had planned. But as News 10's Mike Grant tells us, this winter has turned out to be a little less expensive than one county anticipated. Knox County has had its share of problems with snow and ice this winter, but officials say they've had a little luck as well. The last big blast of winter that paralyzed much of the Wabash Valley blew just north of here. Really, we, we got a little ice in the northern part of our county, but the majority of the county really didn't get a majority of the ice. Road crews in the past would spend about $20,000 removing snow from the roads. This year, with a new homemade pretreatment system that uses a combination of brine and beet juice, crews have been able to clear the same miles of road at about one quarter of the cost. Well, uh, it's been very helpful and it's, uh, it, it has lowered our cost and, and we've been very fortunate. Every dollar that the county doesn't spend on snow removal is a dollar they can later use to buy rock and asphalt to repair the roads. But right now there are no plans to expand the paving schedule because there's still a lot of winter that could come. We hope the weather's over with, we're all ready for spring. But for now, the plows are staying handy and the trucks remain ready in case winter hits here again. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Indiana Homeland Security officials say they're now evaluating the damages from the latest winter storm to see if the state can submit a request for federal disaster aid.